that's why all my life I've been grinding all my life. Look. my channel here I mostly at this point make mostly surf videos but I am a master hairstylist I've been a hairstylist for I don't know since 1994 professionally but probably before then I was doing hair so anyway I've been seeing all these videos well tonight I was doing one of my clients hair we've been doing some passion twists and um, she said she wanted to try some new things. So I had just started doing interlock and tree braids again. And then she started showing me all these videos. We watched probably about 10 YouTube videos while we were in here. And I was actually shocked at what people call tree braids and tree braids yes just what people call tree braids now because and how they were doing them there are much more advanced take techniques of tree braiding and some of the things that people were calling tree braids that were interlock braids that we used to do back in the early 90s and I learned from some amazing women and the reason why we did tree braids and all these interlock styles is because literally back then in the 90s there was only like two packs of hair in the stores back then we had synthetic hair and we used to use loose hair you know to create our own crochet truck styles and braiding techniques that looked like loose hair you know that looked like regular hairstyles so now she's showing me all these videos right and I'm seeing that women are calling the wrong things tree braids. So you know what? Let me give you a short tutorial about the difference in tree braids, interlock braids, and so I this is my own personal video. I just made it of my client. I was just rushing through it, but I'm gonna make more tutorials on it and longer versions of the video showing much, much more. But these were just some quick stuff that I had put on my Instagram stories, my IG stories, you know, that I had just put up. So it wasn't really like, you know, the shots are okay. But anyway, this first one, let me put the chair. People are calling this particular style tree braids. Although this particular style is a tree braid, um, a tree braid technique, it is more of what we call interlocking because you're interlocking, you're braiding and interlocking the hair and feeding out the hair in between it. So this technique in particular, you are going around in a continuous circle until you get to this top. So actually the whole hair, the whole entire hair is braided up into a beehive and all of that synthetic hair, which I use about three packs of synthetic hair, and um, this particular hair brand was so cheap, I'm never, probably not gonna ever use this again. But um, this particular, style was a continuous braid and me feeding out the hair so when you doing this particular technique that you guys are calling tree braids and i can call it a tree braid too if you want to say if you want to call it a tree braid whatever the new techniques is but interlock is what the name was back in the day but this particular one should be completely undetectable like why do it if it's not undetectable the whole thing with tree braids and interlock is to be undetectable so as you see she can move her head around you're seeing I've been noticing all these videos where people are doing them and they're not leaving the edges out they're braiding up the edges no 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 you're supposed to leave your edges out or braid them in. I have seen where people do the individual braids around the perimeter and then the rest of them because the whole thing is to create a healthier environment for your hair. That's what we want to get into. Healthier hair practice. But like I was saying, 
And then these right here, excuse the video, like I said, this was from my IG stories. These are individual tree braids that were used with this crochet hair. And what I did was, you know, loosen up the knot, um, loosen the knot, and then braid all of it individually. So your hair is completely braided down the strand, and then the synthetic wavy hair is fed out of it, creating tree branches. That's why we call that one tree braids. The other one we call interlock. You know, I'm glad that this new generation of millennials, bless you guys, have, you know, pushed for this natural hair movement because, you know, I'm from Generation X, um, you know, from the 80s where we was into our natural hair and being kings and queens and understanding knowledge of self. And then somewhere in there, the 90s just lost it. The light 90s lost it and that's when the weaves came and the relaxers and the straighter the hair the better and you know all this stuff so when you millennials came back i was just so happy i was rooting for y'all i was rooting for y'all i was so happy that you brought this back that you love your hair that you love these textures that you started sourcing information because at the time when i was talking about natural hair nobody there was no videos about this there was no videos about you know taking care of your hair learning how to detangle your hair and part it different ways and styles with your neck natural hair so in a way i like to say i started all this and then you know what between moving from detroit to vegas to here and i was doing a lot of magazine work in between and i just got lost and once i came back to youtube i was like oh my god a whole generation a whole you know transformation had just taken place where you know my voice got lost and so like i said i make mostly surf videos now please don't have to take the inbox me i'll inbox you my number and um yeah i have a private room salon suite so you can come here and get your hair done we can watch movies as you know thank you for you know hopefully you are maintaining the culture of of getting paid for your work of feeling worthy to you know to make money feeling worthy that these are intricate services and that you deserve to be compensated for your talent and your gift. I'm Mimi Miller, also known as That Sir Chick Mimi. Join me again soon and I'll talk to you soon.